And you're watching CB24 Health Canada has approved the Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 booster vaccine that targets the BA4, BA5 strains of the Omicron variant. Officials from Health Canada are speaking to reporters. Let's listen in. About you know, sort of herd immunity with. Maybe to be quite honest, at the time, not, not uh, knowing uh, initially what the, sort of the longer protection might be. Now we're all learning, and the fact is that there's certainly uh, what we've seen uh, from the worldwide experience, as well as here in Canada, is that the immunity wanes with time, and, and that that's 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 you know natural, normal for for uh, many vaccines and infectious diseases. So now, uh, with the latest evidence we have, we recognize that it is about you know six months being the limit, and I think we're now uh, changing, you know, in terms of. Uh, um, you know, updating, informing Canadians that, hey, you know, in some ways, I'm not saying it's a perfect analogy again, but uh, take the case of influenza vaccine. I think people have now been socialized and, you know, sort of a, uh, are aware that, hey, you know, influenza vaccine, it's not sort of a one and done kind of deal in terms of getting vaccinated, that you need to do it on a regular basis. In the case of influenza, it's sort of an annual uh, uh, you know, basis, you know, more into the fall. And we just mentioned about uh, getting your flu vaccine this fall as we head into the winter respiratory season. And uh, I, I can anticipate that, uh, uh, you know, our, our, our sort of uh, education or, or, you know, uh, you know, awareness campaigns for, for uh, COVID-19 vaccines uh, may uh, uh, be aiming the same same direction, saying that, you know, we don't know what the, the, the rhythm might be or, or the sort of uh, what a regular uh, sort of uh, getting updated in terms of a COVID-19 vaccine uh, will be uh, based obviously on sort of the ever evolving, uh, you know, evolution of, of the virus and the mutations. But I think that's where, I, where we're heading. And I think Canadians uh, by and large will get that. So you could say, yes, there is vaccine fatigue in terms of what we've been through for the past two years. But I think as a, uh, we try to head back to uh, what we might call a, a more normal uh, or new normal in terms of how we manage uh, COVID-19 moving forward. Uh, my my uh, anticipation, uh, hope is that uh, people recognize that uh, compared to many other infectious diseases, uh, we've learned a lot uh, from COVID-19 and uh, maybe the way uh, for the future for vaccination is that uh, there is this idea that uh, there there needs to be sort of a regular sort of a, a rhythm or getting, uh, you know, up to or keeping up to date with your, your COVID-19 vaccine.